right, 476 a gallon. Figure now is probably a good time to talk about one of my early gripes with the 2022 Yamaha MT09 SP. And it has everything to do with range, fuel capacity, gas mileage. They all kind of fall into that one category. My one complaint. I gotta see if I can stitch this whole thing together. That sucks. Alright, and I do not like that camera there. It's like right in my face. I wanna look at it. Not cool. So I wanted to do you know the right thing fill that tank with gas and and hit the ground running with my you know the first voyage of the new bike now in my excitement and you know kind of <laughs> riding it as aggressively as you can when you're in the break-in period um, I didn't really pay much attention to my fuel economy now I know it seemed kind of fast that I needed gas. I, I was out riding with uh, Untamed Ride, and yeah, I think he had, he was at half a tank of gas, and all of a sudden I'm like, hey, um, we need to stop, and I need to fill up. He's like, wow, really, already? And uh, that's kind of where the little nugget, that seed got planted in my mind. And I started paying attention to it after that. Now, on the average ride, I was hitting reserve when I reached about 80 miles on the trip meter. And that was a little concerning. Um, and then, you know, of course, even if I, even if uh, there was a gas station nearby, and in which case, in, in one, at one point in time there was, like the, the, the alert come on, came on, the light, and, you know, not 100 yards down the road there was a gas station. So immediately I pulled in, I filled up with gas, and I was shocked to see that I only put two and a half mi or two and a half gallons worth of gas in the tank. So I went from completely full down to reserve in 80-ish miles, and it was only two and a half gallons worth of gas. I mean, that seems pretty bad. So you know, I chalked it up to, well, you know, the gas tank is smaller than my Honda. The Honda was 4.6. This is 3.7, I believe, with um, a 0.8 or 0.9 gallon reserve. You know, so I'm going to get less range. You know, just kind of chalked it up to being it is what it is kind of a thing. But it did start to nag at me after a while because I really didn't want to go out on a group ride or go out riding with friends and be the one guy that constantly had to stop for fuel. Just, you know, it kind of sucks the fun out of the out of the ride when you're you got your eyes peeled for a fuel station every 80 miles so after that I jumped online and I started doing some research uh, the, the one question I had was basically does your fuel mile or your fuel economy improve as you make your way through the break-in period my hope was that you know, after I put some miles on the bike and got it broken in, that my gas mileage would increase. And the results that I found were all over the place. You know, it seemed to be split. About half the audience said, oh no, basically the fuel economy that you're getting right now is more or less where it's gonna stay. You know, if it changes at all, it's gonna be minimal. And then other guys would say, oh yeah, you know, it'll improve a lot as, as the bike gets broken in. So I really didn't know what to think. I just kept on riding. Now slowly, the more rides I took, the, the more times I filled the gas tank, the longer my trips went between fill-ups. 
So initially it was about 80 miles and then that stretched out a little bit more to about 90, 95 miles. And then somewhere along the way, it changed a lot. Now, unfortunately, I can't tell you for certain what caused the change. So at 600 miles, two things happened. One, I reached the first 600 mile break-in period, or I, I passed the 600 mile break-in period. And the second thing was I had the ECU refreshed. Now, I don't know what the contributing factor was, whether it was more a matter of the break-in period or more of a matter of the ECU or a combination of both. But suddenly, I was getting 115 miles before I hit one bar of fuel on the gauge. And still putting two and a half gallons worth of gas inside the tank. So I don't know if that's going to continue to improve, but at 115 miles, like I can live with that. You know, I, I think that uh, that's a fair trade going from uh, a little 650 cc four cylinder up to a almost 900 cc triple. I think that uh, I think that's a, a trade off that I can live with. Now it's not fantastic fuel mileage, but it's considering what I'm riding, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with 150 or 115, 120 miles out of a tank of fuel. So if you just purchased a brand new 2021 or 2022 Yamaha MT-09 and you've got this shocking issue going on right now with fuel economy, don't stress. It should get better. At least in my case, it got better. A whole lot better. Good thing, too, because that was, uh, man, 80 miles. That's, uh, that's not a lot. Well, folks, if you enjoyed this video, I'd really like you to do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button down below. It helps uh, spread the word and introduces my channel to a broader audience. And I really appreciate it when you do that for me. As always, thank you very much for watching. Ride safe, and I will catch you in the next one.